Ransomware attacks on hospitals during the height of the coronavirus pandemic last year were launched by FIN12, a group of suspected Russian speaking criminals, cybersecurity company Mandiant said. Kimberly Goody, Mandiant Director of Financial Crime Analysis, told reporters that FIN12 hits hospitals and moves faster than other ransomware gangs that hold computer systems and data hostage until victims pay up. While some cyber criminals placed hospitals off limits, FIN 12 considered them lucrative targets. Its victims have an average annual revenue of $6 billion, according to Mandiant's analysis. Ms. Goody said, Back in October of 2020, there was this joint alert from multiple United States government entities that specifically highlighted this heightened threat of ransomware attacks to the healthcare sector. We firmly believe that this alert was at least partially in response to FIN 12 operations. Last October, several agencies of the federal government published a joint cybersecurity advisory warning that the federal government had credible information of an increased and imminent cybercrime threat to United States hospitals and healthcare providers. The agencies noted then that attackers used Ryak ransomware, which Ms. Goody said FIN 12 has consistently used even as other gangs switch between strains of ransomware that they deploy. Ransomware attacks increased dramatically in the last year and claimed high-profile victims from the healthcare sector to a pipeline company providing fuel to the East Coast and a major meat producer. For example, Skylakes Medical Center in Oregon was among the hospitals that got hit with ransomware in October 2020, and the center's spokesperson Tom Hotman previously said there was no indication that personal health information was compromised or shared at the time. Patients were provided the opportunity to have medical imaging redone at no cost because of the ransomware's encryption of their medical imaging. The report on FIN-12 came as Microsoft issued a report Thursday that found Russia accounted for most state-sponsored hacking detected by the software giant over the past year, with a 58% share, mostly targeting government agencies and think tanks in the United States.